Okay, so let me see. Can I zoom in? Zoom out? Let me see. Alright, so I'm going to reset the the phone to factory settings as explained by a Samsung person. Make sure first thing first first things first make sure you have no Google accounts in here so you gotta select it go to more and remove account same thing for Samsung account so you gotta do those too everything else doesn't matter you could reset those yourself the reason for that is you have to remove your Google accounts and your Samsung accounts so you don't have a, a factory reset lock. Once that happens, I think the phone is useless. So that's what the guy told me in the chat on Samsung website. So anyway, I have no Google accounts, no Samsung accounts. So then you go to backup reset. Um... And one more thing, before you even uh, remove your accounts, I rec recommend backing them up. Do a backup of uh, your data on the Samsung account. And same thing, make sure your Google accounts are synced. That way, everything you had in there, uh, it's going to get backed up. Like contacts, um, calendar entries, uh, apps apps data and stuff like that <clears throat> and um, this setting here automatic restore you want to have that on before you do your uh, syncing anyway so so to prevent the identity of my accounts all the accounts listed there I'm just going to hit reset device. And my save pattern is this. All your personal information and download application will be deleted and cannot be recovered. Delete all. I already have that backed up. By the way, this is an uh, unlocked version of uh, S6 um, um, G920i. It's an international version, unlocked to all regions. The procedure should be the same for all S6s and probably even S6 Plus and the uh, newer kind of S6. <clears throat> so it's resetting now. Erasing. Let's see how long this takes. This is my first time doing this. I'm resetting the device because Knox is, uh, I don't know, to me a useless uh, part of the Samsung security. It um, it slowed down my phone by about thirty percent or so, and I think the battery life took a hit also. So there are other antivirus apps, Panda, and different ones that for Android that. I would rather have on there instead of system protection. Another thing is if you have Knox installed, I believe rooting is impossible. Uh, that I'm not sure about. But um, I'm not planning on rooting this phone. Uh, I just did it 
because it the performance took a hit I did a Geekbench uh, benchmark I don't remember what the numbers were before I installed it and then I did another one after it was considerably less like 30% maybe even more so you know I'm careful about my um, what apps I install I don't need any uh, system protection for that so anyway it's doing something here and this phone is a uh, Australia variant of the international so um, they had some crap on there it's being restored now. Come on, cat, move. I'm gonna take these off as soon as it's done. And there it is, see? Australian version. So let's see how far I'm gonna go with this before I have to blank out what I'm typing. I'll just do just do uh, English. All right, next. I don't need the net Wi-Fi right now. I don't know if I did this before or not. Let's see. I don't like sending anything to these manufacturers, so let's see if they're going to let me continue. I don't remember if I had to select it or not. This, I'm going to agree, but the other crap I don't need to put in there. Um, right now it's not January, so let's set this up. Today is December, whoops, not 16, whoops, uh, today is the 29th, right now is 2.33pm, let's make it to 34. And it's Eastern Time next. Alright, I'll put my name in. Next. All right, uh, use Google location. I don't mind that. Yeah, why if I could help? I don't like doing that. Next. I'm going to skip over the Samsung account right now. Uh, I have no idea what the hell is later. No, I'm not going to do fingerprint right now. I don't need easy mode. Wait, that was off. Okay, next. Fuck the Nox. Once again. I am not doing this. I did this before and it this is what no, I'm not going to do Knox again. Uh, 
Let me see something. Um, why this video is so crappy? I don't know. I guess you could read some of that. <clears throat> Let me see here. This is the important thing here. Uh, let me see, not here. Samsung Smart Manager. Right here. This is Knox. This is what was activated. Once you do this, once you activate this crap, Knox is installed. I did it this way. I don't know if I did it the, the previous way. Where it showed over there. Um, oh yeah, this is a 120 gig version of uh, S6. I went, I went all out on this phone. I think on BNH Photo website it cost me seven hundred and ninety nine dollars. Seven ninety nine, I think. And then I called them because I seen because uh, I seen it on the same website uh, later on. Or 130, 120, uh, 729, excuse me. So they they dropped the price for me for it. Uh, anyway, one more thing about this international version, if anybody's interested, um, it came with an Australian plug, which is like a little weird diagonal plug. Um, Australia, you could look it up online. I had to uh, I, I attached some wire to it with some clips and I made that work in the US. Um, but I called BNH and they sent me a US plug free because I, I didn't ask I, I want an original plug from the store that will actually work in the, in the US. So anyway, these are the apps that come standard with the S6 International which is uh, basically Australian version so anyway that's basically it uh, if anybody has any other questions like something about this I don't know let's see What? She is a G920i. One of these you. Oh, wait, but that's interesting. This is interesting. The original phone, when I first got it, came with 5.0. I think 5.01. Or maybe it was 5.00. Um, I guess that did not get wiped out during the factory reset. So I have the newest software available for this phone as of now. Um, so that's good. I don't have to do all these system downloads that I had already. Alright, so I'm happy about that. Let's see, I don't think there's any pictures. It said going to wipe everything out. No, well, it did say it was empty. Let me see, storage. And 114 gigs free. Okay. Anyway, so that's all. Um, any questions, comments, let me know. Thank you.